to be something a little bit different. I'm constantly searching for new forests where to go and shoot. Uh, and today a friend invited me to see the forest on, uh, on the surroundings where he is living. He says that that forest is pretty interesting. Now the forest may look in nice, may look interesting, but I don't know if it would be interesting for my photography. I will have to, to, to see. But today is a combination of fun and landscape photography because we are going to explore the area on an ATV and uh, whenever we, you are doing that and mud is involved because yesterday was um, a rainy day so whenever you are doing that that day is going to be fun as you can see I have my tripod all my gear I hope I have room to take all this with me on the ATV but from what it looks like it's pretty big This is one of the first places that I think it looks interesting. This swamp over here. So I will try and get some photos. I'm trying to see a composition in this small swamp over here. Pretty muddy, if, as you can see. I really like this tree over here with those branches. And right now I'm trying to see and find an angle I think I found at least two shots and I'm going to try and make the best of it. So uh, we'll see. I've made the initial shots that you already seen and now I'm looking down, I'm looking at details. As I, as I said in a previous vlog, uh, telling the story better or trying to capture the place better means not only to look at the big picture but also pay attention to the smaller details. And I don't know if I'm going to find here something like this but I thought that it would be useful for me to mention it and to remind it, to, to remind you of this concept, of this idea that after you take the big picture you should always try and look for details and try basically what what I think it can be called is going beyond the postcard going beyond the usual shot that uh, the shot that it's already visible the shot that it's already I don't know the most simple shot that you can do going beyond that forcing yourself creatively to find interesting things that are different that maybe not everyone is seeing, or at least not, ev not everyone is seeing at a first glance. We've made another stop and as you can see the, the forest is changing. Right now there are pine trees and what I really like is this green vegetation that I found over here. It looks really beautiful and I will also try to fly the drone through those trees. They look pretty thick.
hope that you liked the footage with the drone. <laughs> uh, I got all sorts of warnings from the drone seeing all the trees. But now I've got my camera and I really want to take some photos. I'm using the 17 mm lens because I saw some really interesting vegetation and I really want to capture it. It's just a matter of finding an interesting place from where to shoot. I hope that in, uh, in the photo all these elements will be much more visible. I really need that in order to, to portray my idea. So I will have to see if only one photo will be sufficient or I will have to resort to focus stacking. Uh, I, I don't know. And I also I hope that 17 millimeter will be enough. I think I'm done here. I also did a panoramic photo uh, of, the, of the forest. In the end, I used this vlogging camera to shoot uh, the lower angle uh, photos. I'm hoping really, really, I'm hoping that the photos will look okay. I'm hoping that I'm not too low because this tripod was not was not useful in this uh, in this situation. It's time to move on to pack my gear. We've made, we've made another stop because I think it's a really beautiful area from where uh, I can do some drone footage. These white trunks, bird trees. Hope this, hope it's the right name. If not, please forgive my uh, my English. So I'm hoping to capture and to create a pastel, if you want, an impression, an impression of uh, of these bird trees, and to use the white trunks and the leaves, and in the end to create an image that looks completely different. I think this is the last stop near this swamp as you can see but the reason for which I've stopped is these flowers it also started to rain so I'm going to get my camera Take the photos quickly and then we'll go home. So this was it for today. I really hope that you like this vlog. And I'm sure you see that it's completely different. It's more of an exploration vlog. This, the forest that I'm in, it's, it's really huge. We've, we've drove almost 30 kilometers through, the, through this forest. There are lots of places that are interested. The only downside is that the, the, the rain has started to fall. So I'll need to take the last photos and then go back home. So until next time, keep on photographing is the only way that you can get better. Thanks for watching and if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Leave a comment, say your opinion about this video or just say something or just ask a question. 
Bye bye.